Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a Tesla Model Y update on my order. So I've done several videos in the past of every time I get a, a change in my estimated delivery date with my Tesla Model Y, I do a video just to kind of get you guys updated. Because many people have messaged me and are really anxious to, to learn about what my estimated delivery, because I've been waiting almost a year for my Tesla Model Y. I ordered my Tesla Model Y long range in August of 2021. Black exterior, black interior, 20-inch wheels, 7-seater, tow hitch. I did add full self-driving just a few months ago just to see if that would speed my order up, but that hasn't really, you know, as far as I can tell, nothing's really changed or happened. As of my last video, end of, end of June, like June 25th, my date range with Tesla was... Uh, was supposed to be like the end of the month and then on the 25th of June it gets pushed out to it was like uh, J July 13th to August 10th and then just this morning I wake up and I see that my dates have changed now they're July 17th through the end of July July 31st so that looks like that not excited at this point because I just keep getting pushed back and pushed back but at least August is now taken out of the out of the equation and I just have July so probably middle to end of July is when I'm expected to get my car. I've been getting that, that same date range, a couple week date range for, for the last eight months since December of 2021. So I'm really not that optimistic that I'm going to get the car this month. I hope that I do. I'm just going to kind of ignore it. And, and then if it pops, suddenly pops up, I will take delivery of the car definitely and enjoy it. But I just, I, I've gotten excited and I just got, you know, it's just been such a roller coaster ride to, with this order because I keep getting these teaser dates and then it gets pushed out and so forth and so on. The same thing for eight months straight. So at this point, the game has really kind of worn me down. I'm worn out. <laughs> I'm worn out with waiting for this car. And, you know, I just will take delivery whenever it happens. It may not be this. I, I'm not optimistic it's even going to be this month of July. I hope it is. But realistically probably third or fourth quarter oh obviously we're in we're in third quarter but um, I would say fourth quarter is when I would expect to receive it if that really which is crazy because I ordered in August of 2021 and here I am July of 2022 so in just one more month it'll be 12 months I've been waiting a whole year for this car and I think it's the seven the, from what I hear now Tesla doesn't provide much information at all and in fact when I call in I don't get a lot of information. The people are, are are nice and you know, relatively quick to answer the calls. But they just tell me, "Yep, that's your date range. Wait, wait for a VIN number." And they don't really have much insight. They're like, "Yeah, we're not the factory. The production team handles the assignment of VINs and so forth. We just can tell you what the date range is." And like, well, I, the app already tells me that, or the, my Tesla account already tells me that. So they're not that helpful. I haven't really been been able to get any kind of clear explanation as to why my my vehicle has taken so long. The only thing that I can really explain or even uh, think about or others have told me is the seven seat version, the seven seat option and the tow hitch. Those are two things that are really holding it up, which I have to believe that because other people who are ordering different versions and options are getting their cars and I'm just still waiting in line here. So I, I guess that's the probably the most frustrating part is other people are getting their cars who ordered before me and you know Tesla really you really don't have a place in line with Tesla I found this funny I talked with a guy the other day who uh, he came to my house he was he was an electrician he was looking to do some electrical work on my house and he told me that he's like yeah I, I, he's like yeah I have a really early reservation for the Tesla Cybertruck and so you know I'm gonna be one of the first in line because I, I was one of the first to re reserve that truck or place a reservation for the truck and I'm like dude from what I've learned about Tesla when it comes to orders if you don't order the absolute top of the line version, every option, full self driving, the top trim, you're gonna be waiting a long time. And that goes for the, the, the Cybertruck. I have a reservation for the Cybertruck too. And one thing I've learned is that if you wanna get that truck or really any car with Tesla, you gotta order the top of the line, the top, the top trim, and you can get it a lot faster than if you order the stripped down base version which Tesla doesn't have a lot of stripped down base versions. but um, So if you're thinking about ordering a Tesla Model Y, do the performance version with full self-driving, get your VIN number, remove the full self-driving, 
and you'll get it a lot faster than if you didn't order the full self-driving to begin with like me. I should have ordered full self-driving to begin with. I would have had the car last year. I would have had it probably in November of last year. I really would have. Um, I just, I, I kind of did too little too late adding full self-driving. So anyways, um, I'll keep you guys updated. Leave down below in the comments your situation, your configuration, the options you ordered, when you ordered, when you got yours, if you're still waiting. I think it helps us all because that's really the, all the information that we have is if we can share our information with each other and really find out because Tesla's not a lot of help in helping us know when to get the cars. These estimated delivery dates they give us, I mean, they're completely arbitrary. There's no, there's no reasoning to them. There's no queue system where you're next in line or you're, you know, depending on when you order. There's Tesla is 100% driven by profit and maximizing shareholder value, which as a shareholder I really appreciate. But as a as an order and as a customer, it's it's a disaster because I ordered in August of 2021. Like I should have gotten the car a long time ago, and I've. I've been in line a lot longer than a lot of people, and I still don't have the car. So there's really no priority. That their their idea is to build the cars that are going to give them the greatest profit margin, and then just push the others to the next quarter. And I've been pushed several quarters. So, anyways, guys, hopefully that's helpful, informative. Uh, that's the update on the Tesla Model Y order. Uh, hopefully we hear something in the next week or two, get a VIN number soon. If we do, I'll update the video. If not, I'll do another update video because I'll probably push into August sometime, but I guess we'll see what happens. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.